Hey, what's up guys? Konnichiwa which is Irish for how are ya? So, as promised on my previous beginner videos, I said I would make a video to help all of you new players out to pick weapons early on that will last you throughout the star chart until you get to the mastery rank required for some of the harder hitting weapons. So basically, you want to know what weapons to go for after the tutorial that will last you a long enough time. Weapons you can get easily enough that will deal plenty of damage and carry you, like I said, through the star chart. Of course, the damage you deal will entirely depend on your mods and how ranked up that they are. Low ranked mods, of course, will lead to reduced damage, but that's fine because you're new, so you're not expected to have maxed out mods anyway. So I'll go through a list of about five to six weapons from primary weapons, secondary and melee, and if any of my awesome community feel that I left a good weapon out, then please leave a comment in the section below to help new players out if you feel that another weapon deserved an honorable mention. So I'll start the list. Now the best beginner primary weapons for me are up first is the Bratton, which can be bought in the market for 25,000 credits, so it's easily obtainable and it's a solid first choice weapon for new players. It's a balanced weapon that has a 45 round mag and a decent enough fire rate. My Bratton currently has got 8 form on it, which is from a challenge where I was kind of taunted into putting 8 form onto it, and it will kill high level enemies easily enough with that amount of form on it, but even without form, it is a really good weapon. Now the Prime variant of it, the Bratton Prime, is a decent end game weapon, and is also a mastery rank 0 weapon, so maybe if you're in a clan and you ask nicely, you might get helped out with a few parts for that, and get yourself building one of the best end game weapons I guess, in the game. Next up for primary weapons is the Karak, which has a fast fire rate and deals slightly more damage than the Bratton and would be my own personal option once moving up from the tutorial weapons to get the Karak. That would be my option to do. Its blueprint can be bought on the market for 30,000 credits, but it will take two neurodes to craft, so that might be your only stumbling block is to farm up two neurodes. The Karak is an assault rifle with a 30 round magazine, comes with one polarity already, so you can fit on more mods from the start. Like I said, it would be my own personal choice, it's a really good weapon. Next up would be the Latron, which is a semi-automatic weapon that fires one round at a time, I guess as fast as you can click that mouse button or your trigger on your controller. Its blueprint can be bought on the market for 20,000 credits, and it's got an okay crit chance, I guess for beginner weapons, and hitting headshots is what this thing does best. Its prime variant, the Latron Prime, is a great upgrade, and if you enjoy the normal Latron, then the Prime of course will be your target to aim for. The Latron of course has a slow enough reload speed but it's really ammo efficient and it comes with one polarity as well. It's a really good weapon and it has a decent fan base of players who will swear by all of the Latron variants in the game and how good they are to use. So if you like semi-automatic rifles in games then the Latron is something that you should get your hands on. Next up is the Gracata, which is a fast firing grenier weapon that comes with a good crit chance and status chance, comes with 60 rounds in a magazine, a really fast fire rate, but it depends on critical hits to deal high amounts of damage, so critical mods are nearly a requirement for some players to maximise the damage output of this weapon, they're nearly a necessity I guess for some players. Next up is my bow of choice for beginner players which is the Paris. Its blueprint can be bought for 20,000 credits in the market and it's a puncture based weapon so it's ideal for running solo if you're an anti-social player and that puncture can allow you to line up multiple kills, kill two guys with one arrow, it will pass through. Now it's got a high base critical chance, it deals 90 base damage from normal attacks and 180 damage from its fully charged attacks. It's a great weapon overall and if you like bows, if you originally picked the Mark 1 Paris, then the Paris is a really good upgrade for you. Now an honourable mention for primary weapons would be at mastery rank 1 I would personally grab the Strun because since shotguns got their buff it deals great amounts of damage early on against enemies and it's a really nice option. Another weapon worth mentioning is a mastery rank 2 weapon, the normal Boltor, which is a projectile based assault rifle that fires bolts to pin enemies to walls, and its prime variant, the Boltor Prime, is still one of the best endgame weapons in the game, and it scales incredibly well. So, that's primaries out of the way, I've kept the list pretty small as I didn't want the video to go on for too long, and I'm sure there's one or two weapons that I could have fit in, but like I said, feel free to leave a comment below if you think 
your weapon of choice should have been put in there or what that weapon is to help new players out. Now for secondary weapons for beginner players who are looking to move up from their tutorial weapons my choices would begin with the Lex which is a heavy pistol that deals 70 base damage which is higher than some of the startup primary weapons. This thing hits hard, has an okay crit chance, 6 round magazine and deals high amounts of puncture damage. So again this thing is perfect for running solo and it's perfect against highly armoured targets. You can buy its blueprint in the market for 50,000 credits and it would be my personal choice for secondary weapons when starting out. Now it's prime variant, the Lex Prime is easily one of the top 5 sidearms in the game right now. It is absolutely incredible. So if you're looking to maybe use it then you should definitely start off with the Lex to get the feel for it. Now the next weapon up for me is the Bolto. Now this is the pistol variant of the Bolto rifle and it fires bolts which deal puncture damage and can pin enemies to walls as well. Its blueprint can be bought on the market for 15,000 credits and if you want you can build two of these Boltos and upgrade them into the dual wheel version which is the Yak Bolto. But that would cost you a total of about 135,000 credits which is a lot of credits for a new player. Now the Yak Bolto of course is a slight upgrade from the single version because you've got more ammo, you've got a larger magazine basically, you can do more damage. But like I said, if you choose to upgrade to the dual wheel version, that is entirely up to you. Now once you get to Mastery Rank 1, you could buy yourself the Spira, which is a puncture based throwing knives that deal high amounts of damage and have a 25% base crit chance and come with 2 V polarities. They are silent weapons so they're absolutely great for stealth runs, they've got a fast reload, a decent magazine size, overall great weapons for new players and the blueprint will only cost you 20,000 credits. A bit of advice for when you hit mastery rank 2 would be to immediately grab yourself the Sonicore. It's a weapon that will last you all the way through the star chart and into the void and endless missions as well. It is tons of fun, it will ragdoll enemies, it will mow down large groups of enemies easily one of the most fun sidearms in the game. The Sonicor is something that you should definitely aim for. So that's my secondary weapons of choice for beginner players which leaves me with just the early melee weapons which there isn't a whole lot of choices for once you're looking for mastery rank 0 to 2. For me personally I feel that you don't get the better option for melee until you hit mastery rank 2 and by better option I mean weapons that are going to last you throughout the star chart and into the void. So with this list I'm going to keep it short and sweet and just name the weapons that I feel are good. So first up for me is the Amphis which is a staff that will cost you 15,000 credits in the market. It deals good damage, it's got a slam attack that will deal electric damage which will also stun enemies. So that's an absolutely great option and it comes with a dash polarity. The Amphis of course does get used by a lot of players and I would personally recommend it if you're a new player. Next up for me is the Obex which is a sparring weapon or a punching weapon. It also deals electric damage as a slam attack so it can also stun enemies. It's got a 25% crit chance so good for later on in the game once you get your Berserker mod. It has a high base attack speed. Overall this is a solid weapon but it is a close range weapon so you do need to go toe to toe with enemies. For me they're the only two real weapons that I would choose for beginner players but there are weapons like the Kama, the Dual Kama, the Nincondi, the Kogaki and the Karst are all good choices but I feel that like I said it's when you hit Mastery Rank 2 that the better beginner options become available for melee but that is my own personal opinion. Weapons like the Teko which is another sparring weapon that comes with a base 30% crit chance has a decent attack speed and deals solid amounts of damage and it also comes with its own V polarity. This thing is a really good weapon. Or the Boltus which is also a mastery rank 2 weapon which will cost you 20,000 credits for its blueprint in the market. It deals high amounts of puncture damage and also has a solid status chance of 25%. The Boltus also deals the highest slide damage of any melee weapon in the game. So if you like sliding and attacking then this is the weapon for you. But my own personal choice for weapons at mastery rank 2 to bring you through the star chart missions would be the Jules Zoran which come with a high crit chance, high crit multiplier and a really fast attack speed. They also come with a D polarity which I guess could be a bit of a downside but overall the damage and potential of these weapons is absolutely amazing. 
they would definitely be my weapon of choice if I was starting off again. I would definitely grab the Jewel Zorn as soon as I could. Another weapon worth mentioning and worth getting at Mastery Rank 2 would be the Autos. And its Prime variant, of course, the Autos Prime. The Autos is a pole arm that has a wide range of attack and that can hit multiple targets at once. It deals slash damage, which is awesome. So it's great for infested and fleshy targets. Its slide attack hits everything in its radius the prime variant of course is an upgrade and one of the fan favorites in the game it is an absolutely incredible weapon so to quickly remind you of my own personal choices when upgrading from your tutorial weapons weapons that basically i would get if i was starting off again for a primary weapon i would pick the Karak until such a time as i could get the boto prime or the bratton prime for secondary weapons i would pick up the lex until i could get the sonicor or the lex prime and for melee weapons, I would pick up the Obex or Amphis until I could get my hands on my beloved Jewel Zorans or the Autos or Autos Prime. Now, I know I've left a few weapons out, but I wanted to keep this list as short and to the point as possible and not just list every low-ranked weapon in the game. Everyone's going to have their own favourites and their own personal choices with starting weapons. These, of course, would be mine. Any weapons that my awesome community feel deserved an honourable mention and please leave a comment below to help out new players with those weapons and why you think they're amazing weapons. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, comment, subscribe and all that nonsense and as always thanks very much for watching.